Hello, this is Cindy Sponder with NicheBloggingForProfits.com and what I'd like to show you today is how to use Google Webmaster Tools to improve your robots.txt file in case you notice that uh, the robots are searching things that you don't want them to. So you would just go to uh, Webmaster Tools, you can Google that. Google, welcome, Webmaster Tools, okay. You put in your Gmail account. Go ahead and sign in. And then you'll see any of your websites that you have actually set up and verified and given a site map to. I'll just pick one of these, it doesn't really matter. And if you go in here to Tools, you'll see that you're allowed to generate a robots.txt file. And what you'll want to do is, if you have certain files that you do not want the robots to index, let's say that you have a PDF file that you're selling <laughs> and you don't want the robots to find that file or index that file, then you would put block all robots and let's just say that you've got it in a folder called um, private PDF. Okay? So you just put that in and click on add. And now it's saying, okay, user agent all robots. Allow everything except private PDF. And you can continue down through there if you see that they are looking at your images and you really don't want them to waste your uh, bandwidth for that. You would say block robots, all robots. And let's say that you do have your images in a file called images. You could just add that. And you can continue to add things uh, as you like for disallowing. And that way the robots won't index them and they won't be using up your uh, bandwidth with uh, indexing things that nobody wants, you don't want them to have access to to begin with. Then what you do is you just copy this you've got everything there that you want. Simply copy it. Let's put it into Notepad. Paste it. And then you want to save that file as, um, let's just put it here and call it a new file, robots.txt. Okay. And that's all you would do is put it in there and I'm going to actually call the file robots.txt. And once that has been saved as robots.txt, you would simply upload it using your FTP account. Just upload that to your web space in the root directory. And I've got another video that shows you how to do that if you don't know how. And uh, that way if there are areas of your website that you do not want indexed and do not want people to know are there, um, you're able to do that. Let's say that you're developing a part of your website and you don't want it indexed just yet because it's not done. Then you could set disallow it for now and then go back in and allow it later. So there's lots of different things you can do there. There are lots of really cool tools at Google Webmaster Tools and uh, I would recommend that you go in there and kind of explore around and see what all the different possibilities are.